Hello, welcome to the Redman TV. It is daily news time. It is Thursday. Let's get stuck straight in. There's three things I want to discuss. Um, not masses of things happening, if I'm perfectly honest. Obviously, the, the Oxley chamberlain stuff continues to, to, to rumble on. You can watch Chris talking about that. And we did that in some real depth and detail on the Residues Roundup show, which is going out today. I'll link to that at the end of the video. Um, I'm going to start with one player that we've been heavily linked with is Ryan Sessegnon. Currently playing left back for Fulham in the Championship. Um, there were reports this week that he, Liverpool are basically going to sign him, which would be lovely. Um, but apparently, Slavisa Jakanovic, who is the Fulham manager, said no, he's not for sale. In fact, he's quoted as saying, Sessignon will not be in the transfer market in the summer. So, quick solution to that problem get it sorted in the spring. Just saying. Just saying. Loophole. Loophole. Get it sorted in the spring. I think June. When, when does it, let me know in the comments below when does summer officially start? I had this debate the other day. I can't remember. I could Google it, but you could also Google it as well right now while I'm talking and leave me the answer in the comments below. Um, that would be annoying. Apparently, there's reports in London as well that he's 16 at the moment. He, he's potentially going to sign a pro contract when he turns 17, which, let's be honest, as far as a young lad coming up through a, through a team, he should do. You know, he you know if he was a good human being and he was run by uh, in terms of his, his agents and his management team, if they were good human beings, they would make him sign a pro contract with Fulham so they'd get a decent wedge for him when eventually someone does buy him. Um, but purely from a Liverpool perspective, nah, get in there now. Um, here's the thing, we are banned from signing academy players, so we'd have to sign him on a pro contract anyway. So we're going to have to wait till he turns 17 to sign into a pro contract. I believe that's the case anyway, mate. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, um, by all means, again. Um, but yeah, we, we Liverpool will have to sign into a pro contract. We can't sign into an academy contract. So, but this is the thing, save yourselves a few bob, be canny, be smart, be, be dicks, Liverpool, be dicks. Get in there, get him signed, and then you know let Fulham do what let Fulham do. What, look, Fulham erected a statue of Michael Jackson outside the ground. I've said it before, I'll say it again. They had a statue of a of a, of a celebrity paedophile outside the ground. Keep get get their talented youngsters and keep them away. Bring them to Liverpool. It'll be fine. Um, Something not uh, expressly Liverpool related. Next is the shortlists for the PFA Player and Young Player of the Year awards have come out. Um, in the young, Ali Kane, uh, Keane, Lukaku, Pickford and Sane. And then player is Kante, Hazard, Sanchez, Ibrahimovic, Lukaku and Kane. Um, so no Liverpool players named. And I'm interested to know, from your perspective, which Liverpool players do you think, you know... Maybe not deserve to be to, to knock any of those guys out, but do you think we're on the fringes or with a little bit of luck could have made it in there? The one I would I think the obvious shout is, I think is Sadio Mane for a start in terms of player. I think the for me anyway, the annoyance is if Kane's in both, he's in both young uh, and player, what's the point? What's the point? Uh, and then uh, additionally, that any of the Liverpool players that you think could have made it in terms of the young or made it in, onto the shortlist in terms of PFA Player of the Year, let me know that in the comments below if you would be so kind. Um, last thing then, apparently Liverpool, and this has not been confirmed, by the way, um, Liverpool uh, on Twitter has set chins a wagon um, by suggesting that Liverpool have signed a new goalkeeper. Um, clickbait, not a goalkeeper that's going to be playing anywhere near our first team anytime soon. 15 year old, and his name is Vitislav Yaros from Slavia Prague for apparently £300,000. Sound, sounds, keep doing this, um, keep buying promising kids from Eastern Europe that we apparently know loads about. Um, I see no I see no issue with that. Now we know, again as mentioned, Liverpool can't be buying these kids now from from academies inside the um inside the Premier League or the or the EFL. They can't have been in those academies for 18 months. So look, we're gonna have to start doing this as as a result of this. Not too bothered, if I'm perfectly honest, because you know we need to be we stretching out our pool. We need to be reaching the European markets. We need to be getting these kids in, and there is definitely something too. We do need. I think we do need more of an Eastern European presence in our in our squad. You think some of the great players we've had down the years, like Paddy Berger. Yeah. Um, so yeah, more, more, more. I don't know. Yeah. But if he's a Paddy Berger, a goalkeeper, then that's awesome, isn't it? Uh, but no. Uh, yeah. For me, that's that's great, and we should be. You know, we should be getting more players, and we should be using the scouting network that we have in place to the best of our ability. It's not something that's going to set pulses racing, but who knows? Let's see how the lad develops. 
Let's see what he becomes. And if it once it is confirmed, we'll talk about it in a bit more depth and detail, of course. Anyway, two things that I want to draw your attention to this week before we go is the Resnews Roundup Show. As mentioned, you can click the link on the screen right there. It'll take you through to our website. It's completely free for the first month. Try it out. We discussed Session Yard, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, Stephen Gerrard being made under 18s manager, which is very, very interesting stuff. Um Tielemans as well, very exciting player, potentially on his way to Liverpool. We discussed that 60 minute show. It's phenomenal. And if you want more of me, there's my channel as well. Click it. Thanks very much. Ta-da. <laughs>